What I want to teach you is the two biggest learnings that I had through that experience. They are stress and change. So stress, don't underestimate stress. There's so many people that I meet and they say, oh no, I don't have stress in my life, I'm managing this and I'm managing that. The reality is you're not. Stress is out there, it is getting stronger and stronger. The information age of technology and the data bombardment that we are getting, our brains can't cope with it. You have got to manage stress and you've got to put in mitigation measures to manage it. So what I would say in the first instance is stress. For me, how I got through it was primordial sound meditation. It's a mantra-based meditation. I learned it with Deepak Chopra in California, and it was my saving grace. That and some mindfulness techniques were just outstanding, and they got me through it. What I would say is just recognize that there is stress, manage it by putting in mitigation measures, find out what is it that works for you, because it's different for everybody. But that is stress, don't underestimate it. The second thing is change. Change is profound. You know, it's our natural state. Change, another word, is growth. You cannot stay static. Stagnation strangles us. Our natural state is growth, and it's change. But what you have to do is you've got to embrace change at three different levels. The level of the self, you've got to allow yourself to change and be kind to yourself and allow yourself to become the person you are. And the second level then is with your business. You've got to allow your business to change and to emerge to, into what it's supposed to do and make those decisions that you know have got to be made and have the courage to make those decisions to allow it to change. And then the third area, which a lot of people forget about, is the external environment. You have to recognize the changes that are happening in the external environment and see how they are affecting you and your business. And you have got to stay aligned not only with yourself, you've got to have your business aligned with yourself and your purpose and your why, but you have also got to be aligned with what's going on in the external environment around you.